Here's Billy. That's what I look like after chasing him around the pen for two hours. It was two hours. It was easily two hours. We left at one. Take the other one off of him. Another one. Well, that's not Steph. Right. Like you anymore. So what I'm doing before he tramples you. Don't walk through the electric fence, it's there for a reason. Am I leaving you here? Yeah, I said don't. You're happy now. <laughs> Come find them. <laughs> How much of this have eaten in a day? Here they come, Billy. Here come your girlfriends. See him? Good boy. He's happy to be back out. Oh, trampled and eaten. A fair bit in here, so tomorrow they probably, I thought it might last three or four days, but. They probably haven't really gone there, but I want them to keep on fresh, so. I'll probably another day and they'll munch at these bits and walk through these bits while they're doing it, so. Are you happy now, Billy? Hey? Oh. I don't want to do is pinch them, so I'll get to one side, so then they can decide. And most of these are already in calf, at least half of them anyway, so. He'll soon sort out the rest of them. There he is, look, you can see him just behind the black and white one. Got a new necklace, girl. Hmm. Are you pleased with that? Had a good go at this ivy, look. You see, just walking here looking at grass, so it's boring for some. This is what I really want to get on, but I don't want to force them on it. So they will get on that. There's still plenty here, look. Look, loads are not touched. If you look at that side of the line against that side of the line, no difference. 
So there's a good head. That's 28 in here now. Anyway, I've got a water drinker to fix it up. So filled one. There goes my lift. He's off to get some more brick rubble for the wet holes. And this is only half a mile from home, so I walk home from here. So Billy is a rigid Galloway. And the Robert's up in Scotland. Barfield Billy, I think his name is. Or Barfield Bill. A small ball, 700 kilos, sort of same sort of size and weight as some of these heifers. Anyway, I don't want to be long before I get this electric back on. Boys had that straight pipe, you can hear that tractor from miles away now. <laughs> it's reasonably quiet, but it's put a bloody great big exhaust manifold on it. We took the manifold off. So, yeah. I'm just going to get their drinker sorted. Sorry, it's a bit windy if it's unlistenable. I'll swing over the top. Just there, straight forward, easy. I've got the electric fence either side of that. I'm just going to take over. The cows really can't get on the ball clock too easy. Should have been playing around with the electric as well. Plenty of room there for feeding that a whole 300 litres. That'll feed just a few cows. So I'll just turn off just before it gets to its own height. But easy. It's a cost. Whatever that costs to buy, second hand one then. Um, from a food factory or something like that, maybe one with a quite a split like that put down there that you can easily fix. Something blue or something. Stick it on a full cock. 25 quid cow drinker. And it's light. You can, you can move this on your own. Walk that more way over there to here on my own, and when you want to take it away, just turn it off the day before you want to move. Cows will drink most of the water, or a couple of days before. Cows will drink most of the water. You can upend it, and off it goes to the next paddock. So that'll stay here while we do all of this side of the orchard, and then when we do the other side of the orchard, we'll just stick it there. <laughs> So just turn it round, simple as that. I've just stopped here for 15 20 minutes, so I'll just get 8 or 9 inches of water back in the bottom of that. But um, before my boy went, so I turned the electric off to put the ball in, and my boy then disappeared on the tractor. Guess what he did? He left the electric on. Yeah. That's a mains one, and guess what? It hurt. <laughs> so, yeah, he might think it's quite funny, but um, I'll get him back. 